All right, the two tables and the two signs. You got a number? No. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, January 26th, and I have nine eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First thing is a leather travel kit. This guy right here. I had like almost 10 of these originally, but now I'm down to like three of them. I got them as part of a bulk buy. So I've only got about a dollar or two in each one. That's sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Let's go down to the viewer named Alex. He says, hey Cincinnati Picker, thank you so much for the item. I've been looking for an item to purchase from you for the last couple weeks and finally found one. I travel a lot, so this will come in handy. I am also reselling on the side and some of your videos have been helpful. Could you please mention my eBay store? The username is AlexWVFC. I also run a nonprofit ministry called Vessels for Christ and the website is VesselsForChrist.org. I would really appreciate the shout out and I'm looking forward to more videos. Thanks again and God bless. Alex, thank you for your support and thanks for the kind words. Next is an E42. This is a Coors Banquet Beer belt buckle I got from the Piqua resellers. It sold for $19.99 free shipping and the buyer left a note that says, please don't include a receipt. So it is probably a drop shipper, somebody that's buying it from me and shipping it straight to somebody else who they've already resold it to for you know a few dollars profit. So not a big deal. If somebody else can make a little bit more money on this, then more power to them. Okay, next is an E31. It is this coin bank that you guys helped me identify. I got this in that big box of stuff, and you guys knew that it was a booberry coin bank from the um, cereal. I have this listed for $35 plus shipping, somebody sent me an offer of $30 plus shipping, and I accept it. And that is going to ask if you're named Robert. Thanks for the support, Robert. All right, next is a dongle, one of those uh, wireless receiver dongles for a Guitar Hero game. And I'm not sure which box it is in because it's an old inventory code. I think that's it right there, yep. This is also something I got in a big a lot of stuff from the Pickle resellers that sold for $11.99 free shipping. All right, I sold a couple things for my mother-in-law. One is in E41. Right here, this is a metal detector battery. That sold for $29.99 free shipping. And the next is in E31. Right up here, this is a metal detector battery charger. It's the, uh, it's the docking station and the the uh, AC adapter. Those sold for $49.99 free shipping to two different buyers. All right, we're going back over to this box we were just in because this hatchet sold. It is a plum hatchet. I've never seen that brand before, but apparently they sell. And honestly, I cannot remember where I bought this. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is a card game, new in the plastic. Let's see, I think it might be in here yeah i've got four or five of these this is sparkle kitty i got this at a garage sale for 50 cents because there was like seven or eight of them and i only had to pay like a few dollars for all of them that's all for 7.99 plus shipping if your name matt got this for his daughters matt thank you for the business really hope they like the game okay next is a polaroid camera an e31 let's see right here did not have film, so I had to sell it as is, untested. This is the Rainbow Stripe Polaroid One Step, something I got recently in a book buy. So I've got one or two dollars into it. That sold for fourteen ninety nine plus shipping. Last thing I'm shipping out are these music passes for bands. I got these in that big box of stuff that I paid one hundred and fifty dollars for that I've done pretty well with so far. There are a total of five of them. You got Sex Pistols, Mr. Bungle. Garbage, Mother Love Bone, Alice in Chains. Sold these all to one buyer for $45, free shipping. Those are going out to viewer named Tyler. He says, thanks, Sean, really appreciate it. My eBay username is Mid America Picker. Would love a shout out and some stickers. Tyler, thank you for the support. I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. All right, the orders are packed. Let's answer a question from a viewer. This is from Micah Miller. What would you say is the best way to start reselling as a teen? Also, can you give me some tips on how to ship and package stuff out for cheap? All right, so your first question, reselling as a teen, I think, the best thing you can do is just learn everything you possibly can. There's so much free information on YouTube and I really wish when I started selling, when I was like 18 or 19 years old, that I knew even a tenth of what I know now. So I would highly recommend just taking in as much as you possibly can. Watch a wide variety of channels. Some of my personal favorites are Hustlin' Hooks, Shed Flips, 
Ready Set Resell, Commonwealth Picker, Tesla Picker, like just to name a few. There's so many great channels out there. So subscribe to a lot of them, watch a lot of videos and just learn as much as you can. And I would say don't go overboard. Like when you're buying stuff, don't spend, you know, let's say you've got $500 to invest in reselling. Don't spend all that $500 on like one pallet. You know what I mean? So kind of really diversify what you're buying. Check out thrift stores, garage sales, go to auctions, look online, like kind of just look everywhere and just try not to spend a whole lot of money to start because you're going to make mistakes. That's how you're going to learn. And you just, when you want to make mistakes, you want to keep them small. You know what I mean? You don't want to make huge mistakes that are really hard to recover from. Your second question about learning to ship cheap. I think your first priority always needs to be to protect the item. So a lot of times I've seen people try to cut corners and save money by shipping and then they're not protecting the item like they should and then it ends up getting broken and you got an angry buyer and then that hurts your eBay account. So that should be your first priority always. And then if you can still you know, save a few bucks here and there, that's great. And you can do that by using padded flat rate envelopes sometimes. You can use regional A boxes, regional B boxes. There's so many ways to save money on shipping. From time to time when I'm, you know, packing, I try to show that. And I think you'll also learn that by watching other channels too. Watch how people pack, watch how people ship, and they'll definitely teach you a lot of ways to save money. So Micah, thank you for your question, and I wish you had nothing but the best of luck in reselling. It's Wednesday morning. I have seven eBay orders to ship out, and after that, I'm gonna go buy some inventory. First couple things here, I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. Let's see, this is a North Face half zip. I don't know if you guys can read my terrible handwriting, but that's what that says. I got that from Kevin the Tennessee Picker and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. This one I also got from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. That's an Atlanta Hawks jacket and I took a best offer on that for $25 plus shipping. Viewers Oscar and Joe bought those pieces. Want to thank you guys both so much for the support. All right next thing is a um, Caterpillar uh, air filter on E2. Here it is. I got this from my guy Mike and a big lot of stuff and that sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next is a couple of patches. It's an old inventory code, A5, so it's probably down here somewhere. There's a lot of patches in here, so I'm guessing it is in this box. It's these two right here. I got a whole bunch of patches over the summer last year at a garage sale, and I've made really good money on them, and kind of just a few are left over, and you know, the less valuable ones. These sold for $7.99, free shipping. Next is an order of four diecast cars. Let's see, three of them are on E1 up here. We've got a Ken Schrader 2000 M&M, probably one of these. That's Dale Jarrett. I think it is this one right here. There's another Ken Schrader up here. I think it is this one. He actually bought the Dale Jarrett too. And the last one is Skittles right here. Those four go to the same buyer for $73.96 plus shipping. Next are some vintage floppy disks, new old stock, let's see, I think they're right back here, it's three packs of them, I've got $3 into these, they sold for $16.99 plus shipping. Last thing I'm pulling is right down here in E5, it's another die cast car. This is a big box because it originally had a case and that's a missing part of the case. The buyer offered me $12 plus shipping on that and I accepted. And that's going to ask if you were named Jason. Thank you for the support, Jason. Hope you like the car. Almost forgot, I had one sale outside of eBay. A viewer reached out via email wanting to buy this mask that was in that big box of stuff that I bought. So I sold it to him for $30 free shipping. And that is going to have to be your name, Andrew. Andrew, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, all my orders are packed. I'm going to hit the road to buy some inventory. I'm headed up north. There's a couple I've been meeting with every two or three weeks. I think I've bought from them twice now, and they've got another big carload of stuff that I'm going to buy. They don't like to be on camera, so I'm not going to film or anything. But when I get back, I'll show you guys what I bought. And on the way back from there, I'm stopping by to see Danny from the Pickwell Resellers channel. He's got a lot of stuff to sell me, too. All right, guys, everything is back there. I spent $275, got a lot of really good stuff too. I've got some Pyrex back there, electronics. I think there's some baseball cars, just a lot of odds and ends. So I'm gonna head now to meet Danny. He's got a bunch of stuff. I don't know where I'm gonna put it in here, but I'll try to find some space. Once I get back to my warehouse, I'll unload all this stuff and show you guys what I bought. What's up? Oh, apparently this 
Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Man, you got a lot. Yeah, that's why I, I just kept finding and finding and finding. All right, so you got some Skylanders. Yeah, Parker said. You make sure you tell him I'll get the money for that. My Parker. <laughs> I just, uh, this, I do know it does not work. The weed does not work. These do. Okay. But there's only one. One base. Yeah. Okay. And I bought a charger for it. That's how I know they work. Okay. Then there is like some little, this one here I think goes for the handheld piece. Oh man, Donkey Kong Country. I played that game so much as a kid. Street Fighter, too. that was another yeah, one I played my brother, I remember, a ton. Uh, the arcades. Oh yeah. That's a pretty good game. My All Stars. <coughs> now this is something I've never seen. It's a charger for this. Oh, for, for the car. That's interesting. But there's that and a regular one. I bet you I've got 50 chargers for Game Boy Advances and DSs, and I've just been hoarding them for the longest time. Yeah, it is. <coughs> Doesn't take any space to store them because you know you're going to run across them down the line. That's too bad they wrote their name all, all over everything. I saw it on the Did games they? too, yeah. I think for the most part I can get it off. I didn't find a charger for that one. I was trying to make sure this I probably tell you have one for sure if they work or not. I keep finding more and more and more and more stuff, and it's like, man. yeah, man, you got a ton. Upstairs is so full, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I got a uh, another fender, but it's in the closet. And oh yeah. Gloves right front. I'm like, okay. Yeah, some of them are sealed. Just dance. Mario. There's a couple of Mario's in there. Yeah, there's one. There's two of the same yeah, I one. Saying, I thought there was two of the same one. Mario, Mario 3 right there. I don't know if anything. Squire Mini. Okay. So it's like a kid size. Well, that size uh, used was selling for like 140 to 170. Holy cow, really? But like new is really crazy. And I don't. I don't think it's ever been played with. All right, the two tables and the two signs. You got a number? No. Uh, what do you got? Oh, man. You can't make me throw the first number. <laughs> well, heck, I totally throw the only one you're thinking. What, is, what do the American Pickers say? I can't buy it and sell it? I can't stand that show. You hate them? I, they're just the way I don't know. It's like you know they'll put like something up and say you know retail. You know, right, right, right. Like the storage wars, I, I can't stand by. Oh yeah, they'll just blatantly lie on that show. I've right. seen them do it. Throw me a number. <sighs> Four. Um, I'm comfortable at five hundred. You should. Yeah, I was say the only thing I knew yeah. what I had was this, and then this and that. Yeah, I'm comfortable at five hundred bucks, man. Okay. I appreciate you setting everything aside for me. <clears throat> there you go my friend All right, appreciate it. thank you i don't know where i'm gonna put it in the van that's why i <laughs> sent you pictures like uh you got enough room yeah I, See, it, I got a bunch i got a whole bunch in there so i'm gonna have to get real creative Hey guys, it is now the following day. Yesterday I got back to the warehouse pretty late. It was a really long day. I was tired. I wanted to get back home to the family. So I did not get any of this stuff out, but I'm going to pull it all out now and show you guys what I got. All of these totes are full of stuff that I got from Danny, all the video games. I think you guys saw a pretty good deal of that stuff, so I'm not going to dig all that out again. But all of these other boxes are what I got in the other buy. So I'm going to pull them out and show you. All right, first box pull this up here. I had a pretty good idea of what it was. They had sent a lot of pictures 
um, what it been a few weeks or some of it I forgot but I will definitely pull all this stuff out and show you guys here is a Marlboro Coleman canteen We've got a pickle saver Tupperware yeah Tupperware pickle saver it's a nice looking decanter made in Italy Let's see we've got I think these are pewter maybe yeah trade continental pewter it's like a creamer or maybe like a sugar cup something like that this is a nice piece this is an old ashtray it says aunt opal 1965 that's funny so somebody handmade that we got a mr christmas showcase symphonium so i guess i got these little dancers that move around and it plays music it's in the original box and it's got the styrofoam and everything too so that should be a good seller unfortunately <laughs> We're a month past Christmas, so not perfect timing. Might have to hang on to that for a little while. All right, let's see what's in this box. Got a VTech Phonics from A to Z kids toy. The Cleveland Browns autographed helmet. Looks like it says R Gill. I think the initials are RG, and it's number either 24 or 29. Some mini hockey sticks, Kalamazoo wings. Lake State Lakers. We've got three oil filters. Might just list those as one lot. Some antique glasses with the case. I see these from time to time and usually there's a maker's name or maker's mark somewhere on the frame and it looks like there's something right in there. So I'm gonna have to get my jeweler's loop to figure out what the name is on those. This is a coffee press. Pretty sure that's what it is anyway. Coffee dispenser. It's got a cool look to it. In this box, let's see, this looks like an old thermos. Yeah, and it's made by thermos too. That's cool. Vacuum bottle, number 755. It's got the old cork on there and everything. Here's an old Polaroid. Got a big bag of marbles. Here's an old iPod. I think that's a shuffle, no, not a shuffle, nano? Nano or a shuffle maybe? Right here is a bread maker, I think she said it was. Yeah, quick baking, French bread. Zojirushi, probably mispronouncing that. There's only about seven or eight more boxes left, so just bear with me, guys. There is a lot of stuff. Here we got a uh, Mattel CNC from 93. Here's a Alan Bobblehead from The Hangover. That's hilarious. He's got the, the baby on his stomach. Oh, God. We got something from Tupperware. Maybe some kind of, like, aluminum foil roll holder? I'm not sure what that is. If you guys know what this is, let me know in the comments. All right, some more binoculars. Tasco 10 by 50 Those look pretty nice. Here's an old bread box, and it feels like there's something else inside. A lot of stuff, actually. Let's see. Old glass jar. A little pocket change thing. It says, very early Columbia thermos. That's pretty cool. Alright, the next box. We've got maybe like some rice bags. Burlap. This is carrier for glassware. We've got a big stack of video games. There's Wii Sports. Harry Potter. Xbox 360. Minecraft. I think this Minecraft game does okay. Like Ten dollars, something like that. I know Wii Sports was selling for about twenty or twenty-five a few months ago. We've got some Nike Baby Sunray sandals. Look at those. <laughs> They're so small. Size two. Oh my God, that's funny. I, I guess they're new. They don't look like they're ever worn. Got all the packing paper and everything in there. We've got a Big Bird and Bird and Ernie Jack in the Box from 86. Let's see if it works. Here's Big Bird. That's cool. Here's some old cars. Got a NASA truck in there. 
Jeff Gordon car. Here is an old enamelware teapot with the flower design. That's probably going to go in my antique booth. All right, next box. We've got an old toy. Generation X pennants. Kind of looks like X-Men almost. We've got some die cast cars. Let's see, this is an old Chevy. Bel Air. Some cameras. There's a Nikon Cool Picks in here. We got some cassette tapes down here. More odds and ends. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff in here. All right, the next box. We've got a lot of cameras. There's another Nikon Cool Picks. Samsung SL720. Got some vintage cameras. These are definitely good in my antique booth. What is this? Filmo Sportster. Just a little 8mm movie camera, I think is what that is. Here's a Kodak Twin Reflex. Let's see. Some other little cameras. There's a Polaroid down here. Canon accessory. Argus. Probably a 35mm camera. I think this is the box for the Polaroid. There might even be another one in there. Polaroid Sun LMS 600. Does that match that? Yeah, that's cool. So I've just got the box. Probably another camera in there and probably one down in there too. All right, another box. This is an old like Cougar or Panther porcelain piece. It's interesting. Got a Garmin handheld navigator. These tend to do okay. I mean, I don't know about this model specifically, but I know a lot of people like to geocache where They'll hide something in the woods or in some spot and you use handheld GPS to find it. So that should do okay. So Xbox One charging station for controllers. Looks like it's sealed too. That's pretty cool. Oh my God, look at that. Old even flow nursing bottle. Jeez, that is really old. 1964. And then here is an old Pyrex bottle. I don't know if that was a nursing bottle or what, but that's cool. A couple of Harley Eagle patches, ride to live, live to ride. Actually, it doesn't say Harley, so that's just motorcycle. There's an old die cast Ford Mustang. Here's a label maker. Those usually do pretty well. TI-83 Plus calculator. And we got some baseball cards down in here. Let's see, 1989 Tops. This says All-Star Baseball Cards. I've been mean, getting back into collecting and selling cards a little bit. Seems like they've definitely been booming the last year. The hobby is coming back big time. These are action packed. Looks like we've got some 93 Fleer Ultra. And this is just a big mix of stuff, I think. I think that's Donruss, 92. Most of these probably aren't worth much. Looks like this might be all one set. This is Tops, I wanna say like 80s, yeah, 1987, 1987 tops, I think, is what that is. All right, there's three more boxes to go. I appreciate you guys hanging with me while I dig all this out. Let's see, this is a camera bag. There might be a camera inside. It's like a Kodak. Here's an old movie camera. Wow, that is heavy. Victor Cine Camera Model 3. How cool is that? <laughs> this thing probably weighs like 10 pounds too. Yeah, that is really neat. It's even got the owner's manual in there, look at that. All right, down at the bottom of this box, we've got some silverware. All right, let's see, this is, what does it say? Northland Stainless, Japan? I don't do a lot with silverware, so I'll have to look up and see if it's worth anything. I do know there's a market for a certain stuff, you know, depending on what it is, of course. Got a Casio printing calculator, new in the box. It's pretty nice. Got a Panasonic tape player. Got some Corningware, old style Hyleman's pitcher. That's pretty neat. And we got some little odds and ends down in here. They like film tank. We got some ball jars. Here's the lid to our Corningware. Some random brushes and a piece of Fire King, Anchor Hawking. All right guys, last box. Let's see what we got in here. A really nice piece of Pyrex. Let's see, four quart? Yeah, that's a nice bowl. Got a fruit design. There might be a lid to it in here. 
Oh wow, there's a lot of Pyrex in here. And it's all bubble wrap nicely to protect it. This is a glass bottle. This is another glass bottle with an interesting top to it. Pyrex lid, which probably goes to that piece down there. Yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's about ten pieces of Pyrex in there. All right, that is everything. I really appreciate you guys hanging with me to the end while I show all that stuff. I paid $275 for everything, and I think there'll be some good profit to be made. It might take a little while to sell, but I'm really happy with the purchase. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.